My name is Donald Hyun Kilbasa, and I would like to teach you the weapon of rope dart. I have created a structured approach which takes four weeks of basics and five weeks of talu, or running a form. Step by step, try to take the basics and techniques and build upon each other. Mind you, this is a basic traditional form. If you're looking for advanced spinning or tricking, you will not find that here, but in other videos. I am very strongly emphasizing technique and basics in this video to make you a better rope dart practitioner. The rope dart is a very dangerous weapon, so when you're training, you should try to train with the assistance of your instructor or someone who's knowledgeable with the rope dart. You could really hurt yourself using this weapon. It is a very beautiful weapon and it has a very long prestigious history, but at the same time, you must never disrespect the weapon by treating it for something that is not a toy. It's a weapon which can really hurt someone, including yourself. So please be careful and good luck. Before we get started on running the rope dart form, I want to show you the materials that you're going to use and how to actually make the knots of the rope dart. The rope should go through one of the chain links. Pinch the rope so one end is loose and the other is hanging. Underneath, allow the, take the excess rope and put it through the hole or the pinch that you made earlier. Take the end and put it back through the hole. Then tighten. This will create a very tight grip with the rope dart. The rope dart creates a tremendous amount of force and whip action. To avoid having the rope break on you or become undone, you have to burn or melt the rope. And you just take some sports or athletic tape and tie around the knot to make sure that the knot never comes undone. And there you'll have a very strong, well-established rope dart that should last you for a long time. Also, something that you might need is baby or talcum powder. The rope is very rough, and to avoid getting rope burn, you might need some talcum powder, which I generally like to put in a sock. The next thing that you're going to need are silk flags. They serve several purposes. One being, they distract your opponent, which some martial arts like to keep about seven or eight inches away from the dart. The opponent focuses on the flag, taking his attention off the actual weapon. The second thing the rope is if you place it at the base of the rope, if you cut a hole in the middle of the flag and you place it at the base, when you jerk back, it creates a blossom effect. It's a pretty cool spectacle for your audience. And the third and the most important point of the silk flag is aim. These flags act almost as a kite. When you're throwing it and shooting it out back and forth, you attach the flags to improve your aim. You attach them to these chain links. Many of you might be wondering why these chain links are here. Well, before, when people used to actually use the rope dart to apply on other individuals, the chain links were used to latch on internal organs. So when you shoot it into your opponent, the chain links would latch onto different internal organs, and when you would pull it out, the organs would also come with it. Finally, something that you're going to need for the form is a pair of fehus. The thing about fehu is the treading on the bottom. When you do foot wraps, the fehu bottoms are very good to catch the rope. Many other martial arts shoes do not have this type of treading, or many gym shoes are too wide. If you are going to get very serious with rope dart, to purchase a pair of fehus because they will really help you in your progression. Welcome to week one of the introduction to the rope dart. I would like you to start doing a forward and backward pull. This is very simple. All you're going to do is spin it and shoot it forward through your hand. And when you do a front spin, you shoot it backward with your hand. Do this for about one week. Try to give yourself about four to six feet of slack and get used to retracting the dart.
Try to work on it for about an hour a day for one week, and then you should be ready to move on to the next step. Welcome to week two of learning the rope dart. For our first movement, we're gonna learn how to do a right foot kick throw. You're gonna face one direction and start doing a forward spin. Give yourself three to six feet of length, depending on your height. When you're ready, put your right leg behind you and your left leg in front. Lift your right leg up and put it about two feet away from the dart. Allow the rope to wrap around your foot before you kick it out. Once you become more comfortable with this, allow the dart to shoot out further. Now we're going to do the second basic of week two, a front left foot throw. The key to this is when you're doing a front rotation, from about three feet of slack, you want to take your front left foot and on a side angle, stick it out. Allow the rope to wrap around the foot one time and flick your foot forward. The best way to do this is if you have your right leg in back and your left foot forward. You take a step with your right leg and then you lift up your left leg and flick it out. For right now, let's use a short rope. But the more practice you do, try to let the rope go a little bit farther. Remember, the second it shoots out, you have to be ready to retract right away. Let's try it again. You see how I retracted it right away? The third movement of the second week is going to be a side kick heel throw. This is a very difficult kick. The key is for about two and a half feet of slack from the dart, you want to wrap the rope around your right heel while doing a side kick. The key here is not to kick too high. If you kick too high, the dart's going to shoot downwards. Welcome to week three of learning the rope dart. By now, hopefully, you mastered the basics involved in weeks one and two. Now we're going to work on changing directions. The first change of direction is going to occur with your elbows. I'm going to put the rope while it's spinning forward underneath my right armpit. As I do this, I'm going to step forward with my right leg. Now it's spinning forward on the other side. I'm going to continue to put the rope underneath my right armpit and step with my left leg. Again. Make sure to keep the dart about three feet away from where your hand is to avoid getting hit in the head. Now I'm going to show you the elbow change at regular speed. The next change of position is going to be with your legs. We're going to do a front spin, and then I'm going to place my hand near the inner thigh of my right leg. I'm going to put the rope 
on the outer thigh with my right leg. Essentially, you're just trying to confuse your opponent by throwing your leg and changing the direction. Very important move because this basic is used in many rope dart techniques. Now I'm going to show you at regular speed. The final change in the position deals with the neck. Now this is a more dangerous move, but it creates a very exciting atmosphere. Begin by spinning it forward. Pinch the rope about four and a half feet from the dart. Place your two pinched fingers on the right end of your neck. When the rope does one rotation around your neck, step forward with your right leg. Allow it to unwind. Shift back with your elbow around your neck. Allow it to unwind. Back with your elbow around with your neck. Allow it to unwind. Now, this is going to be the normal tempo of doing neck change. Remember, do not attempt to do this until you feel very comfortable with the rope dart. Welcome to week four of learning the rope dart. Hopefully by now, you've mastered week one, two, and three, and we can move on to shooting out the rope dart. The first movement, we're gonna spin the rope backwards. We're gonna allow the rope to ride around my right elbow. After one rotation, you're gonna point your elbow forward and allow the rope to shoot out. Here's one example in slow motion. Allow it to wrap and point forward. Use your right hand as a guide when retracting, so you don't lose control of it. When you become more comfortable with it, add an extra step and step forward to add power. Here's the regular speed for a right elbow forward shoot. The next movement is going to be shooting out the rope dart with your left elbow. Again, you're going to do a backward motion. Allow the rope to wrap around your left elbow, and after it does one full rotation, point your elbow towards the directions you want to shoot it to. Immediately retract the rope dart and use your right hand as a guide. Every time you shoot out the rope dart, attempt to look in the direction you're shooting out to. Once you become more comfortable with shooting out the rope dart with your left arm, start throwing your body into the shot. It'll add more power and speed and leverage into the shot. Now, we're going to work on a right elbow shoot backwards. You're going to spin the rope forward. Allow the rope to completely wrap, to wrap one full rotation around your elbow. Look behind you and allow the rope to shoot out. Again, once you become more comfortable with this, attempt to throw your body into the shot.
Now, we're going to begin one of the more difficult movements in rope dart. It deals with the body wrap. Most shots are based on this movement. We are going to begin the forward spin. I am going to let the, guide the rope underneath my right armpit and let the dart come out between my left neck and my left shoulder. I use my left forearm to catch the excess slack so it won't crunch up. For a split second, I release the rope and catch it with my right hand. When I get into this position, I continue doing a forward spin and I pinch the rope with my left hand. I use these two fingers to hold on to the excess slack. When I'm ready to shoot, I do a forward elbow change of direction and I step my left foot forward and my right foot over. I put the spinning hand near my left neck and release. Release, catch, pinch, change direction, shoot. Let's do it normal speed. Welcome to week five of learning the rope dart. We just went through four weeks of learning the basic techniques of rope dart, and I hope you went week by week learning the different techniques and practicing. The basics are very important. Now we're gonna begin the form. The first movement you have to learn is how to tie the knot. Before you begin, you should tie one end of the rope to your arm. Take your right arm and lift up the rope about here. The dagger should hover just above the ground and that's the appropriate length that you should use. To tie the knot, we take two ends, approximately 12 inches apart. You pinch one end with your left fingers. Make a circle. Pinch with your left fingers. Take your right hand. Pull through. Pinch. Pull through. Pinch. Pull through. Pinch. Pull through. Pinch. This is what the beginning of your rope dart form should look like. You're going to hook your two left fingers here and pinch the other end so it looks like a big knot. The purpose of this is you confuse your opponents. Your opponents see a knot and they're not really sure how you're going to extend the entire rope. But now let's begin with the first section of the rope dart form. Begin facing 45 degrees in the right hand corner away from the judges. Snap up, turn to the left, block, right arm followed by the left arm. From here, right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. Face the opposite direction, front slap kick, release the rope, forward spin, right kick, left kick, Wrap, kick, wrap, pinch, leg change, put the rope underneath your leg and release, body wrap, elbow change directions, shoot out. That's going to be the end of the first section. Now I'm going to break down the movements a little bit more so you have a better idea of what you're doing. We began with the knot, then we block right foot, right arm, left foot, right arm up. Front slap kick, step, you throw. We worked on these two kicks in our basic movements, but this is the first time we're seeing this third movement. This is how it works. You're going to be spinning it forward, and you're going to lift up your right leg. You're going to put your right hand by your inner right thigh and release the rope, and quickly catch it. Continue to spin.
face your opponent. Slow down the rope. Lift up your left leg. Place the dart on top of your left foot. Kick out your left foot. Spin forward, inner thigh, catch. Continue to spin, catch on your left foot, kick out. When you actually kick out, try to straighten your leg and lean your body backwards. And now we're gonna do one last leg wrap. It's the same principle as the first one. You're gonna lift up your left leg, put your right hand by your left thigh. Release the rope, catch it, pinch with your left hand right here. Do a right leg change of direction. When you get to this point, you're going to lift up your left leg, put the dart underneath your left leg, and release the pinch. Let's do that again. Left leg, pinch, change of direction. Lift, release. To show you more clearly, I'm going to do a reverse angle. Pinch, where the release actually takes place. I'm going to lift up my left leg. Did you see how I put my hand underneath my knee? It allowed it to release, and simultaneously, I released the pinch, and it shot out. The final movement is the body wrap. We worked on this in our basics, but let's just make sure we got it. Pinch, change of direction, step with your right leg, step with your left leg, put your left hand by your left neck and release. Again, a forward spin, underneath your armpit, left arm to catch the slack, release, catch with your right hand, pinch with your left fingers, change of direction, elbow, step, shoot. Now, I'm going to walk through the entire first section. Now, we're at week six of learning the rope dart. Now I'm going to give you a little tip. Rope dart creates rope burn. One way that I deal with this is I take a sock full of talcum powder. I allow the talc to fill up the rope. This softens the rope so it doesn't burn as much as when you retract. This will really help you when you start doing your neck wraps. Okay, now, we're going to continue the form by doing a basic that I like to call the pendulum swing. Shoot out, swing like a pendulum, catch. Shoot out, pendulum, catch. Spin, grab with your right hand, grab with your left hand. Step with your right foot, release. It's like you're dropping a bomb on your opponent's head. It comes in at an angle and it's very difficult to deflect. So let's do that again. Shoot out, slide in, catch, spin, release. Ultimately, when you do this movement, I want you to add a little bit of a jump. Out, pendulum, catch, spin, catch, release. It's very difficult for opponents to stop this movement, but it's also very difficult to master. So let's add that onto the body turn. We spin it out. 
Body wrap. Release. Pendulum. Spin. Jump. And release. For the next movement, we're going to do a front elbow shootout. Continue the momentum. Allow it to wrap around your left, right elbow and shoot it out. Right after that movement, we're going to do a second variation on a body wrap. Retract. Body wrap. Continue spinning. Change of direction one with your right elbow. Change of direction two with your right elbow. Wrap around your left elbow and catch. Step with your right, change of direction, release. Let's do that one last time. Body wrap, change of direction, change of direction. Wrap, release, wrap, catch. Change of direction, turn around, shoot out. So let's take it from the body shoot out, from the first section. We're going to release, body wrap, shoot out, pendulum, swing, bomb, elbow throw, body wrap two, change of direction, change of direction, release, catch, shoot out. Now that we just finished the second variation of the body wrap, we're going to continue with the form. Right after you release the shot, we are going to do a neck wrap. It is thrown out. We are going to allow the rope to come back and wrap underneath our armpit and then around our neck. Change directions. Right after we do that, we are going to do a left elbow shot. Let's do that again. Shoots out. Neck change direction, right into an elbow shoot. So, from the first section, body wrap, shoot out, pendulum, bomb, elbow throw, body variation two, change directions, change directions, release, wrap, catch, shoot out, neck wrap, right into the elbow throw. I'm going to walk through the second section with you. Hello, we're at week seven of learning the rope dart. I hope through the previous six weeks, you spent a lot of time training on your basics and going through the format step by step. Now I have to warn you, the next two sections are very difficult. The first two sections focus on speed. If you have to, go slow and take extra time on these two particular sections before you begin to string them together. Let's begin. From the second section, we ended with the left elbow throw. We are going to do something that I call the second pendulum strike. Left elbow throw, pendulum step through. From here, you do another left elbow throw. Let's do that a little bit slower now. Elbow throw, pendulum, wrap. Now, we're going to do just the pendulum throw. Step through the loop, so you should never actually be into it. So this is pendulum two, remember. 
step through the rope, catch with your elbow, and shoot it out. So again, left elbow throw, pendulum two, wrap with your left elbow, shoot out. Now that we've just finished our second pendulum throw, we're gonna move in to the right backward elbow shot. Here, we are gonna spin it forward, wrap it around our right elbow, and shoot it out. Let's do that again. Wrap around your right elbow and shoot it out. From the beginning, second section elbow throw. Third section pendulum. Elbow throw. Elbow throw. Now we're going to continue into the third variation of the body wrap. This movement is somewhat dangerous, and if you have to, put some type of padding around the dart to make sure you don't hurt yourself. Spin. Be careful here. You step with your right leg. Change of directions. You are going to take this rope and place it on the left side of your neck. You release it and catch with your right hand. You do another change of directions with your right elbow and then you allow to rope the rope to wrap around your neck in one full rotation. Be very careful with this movement and make sure you give yourself enough slack. When you step through, pinch with your left fingers and shoot it out. Let me do that one more time for you. Body wrap variation three. Wrap, step, neck, catch, neck wrap, spin, pinch, shoot out. Do you see how I pinch it with my left fingers? It allows me to stop the dart and shoot it out when I want to. When you start becoming more comfortable with this movement, I want you to use your right hand to speed up the dart. Around your neck. Body change. Wrap it around. Push. You see how I push the rope with my right hand? It generated more speed. This movement should be used for not only rope dart, but also meteor hammer and chain whip. One last time. Spin. Now we're going to do what I consider the most difficult movement in rope dart. A leg wrap, which is emphasized on the heel. Body wrap variation three. Neck. Spin. Neck wrap, push, shoot out, forward spin. I'm going to take my right hand and place it by my left thigh. Release the rope and catch it with my right hand. Release, catch, pinch. The same thing with my right leg. Release, catch, spin. Next movement, I'm going to kick a small side kick and I'm going to allow the rope to wrap around the heel. Once it wraps around one full rotation, I'm going to kick my heel behind my back. This is a very difficult movement, and it might take you a very long time to do. Let's try it one more time. Step, spin, kick, behind you. Let's walk through the third section. Elbow throw, pendulum, elbow throw, right elbow throw, body wrap three, step, neck wrap, change direction, neck wrap, change direction, pinch, shoot,
Welcome to week 8 of learning the rope dart. We've gone through the first three sections and four weeks of basics, and I hope you spent a lot of time going step by step through the basics in the form. The third section is kind of difficult. The fourth section is going to be even tougher because they have a lot of technical movements and are not as fast, and they probably take the most amount of time to really learn. Now, I'm going to begin with the first movement of the fourth section. This is the third pendulum variation. We're going to swing out. Pendulum. Pendulum. This is what I like to call the triple pendulum. Pendulum. Let it rest on your neck. Pendulum. Rest on your elbow. Third pendulum on your right elbow. Let's do that again. One pendulum, neck, two pendulum, elbow, three pendulum, elbow. After you get to the third pendulum, you're going to step behind with your right leg and shoot out the dart using a right elbow wrap. Let's do it once. Pendulum, neck, pendulum, elbow, pendulum, elbow, shoot. Now, let's put it all together into application. When you do the third pendulum, I want you to learn to balance your legs. When you pendulum on your left elbow, I want you to lift up your left leg. When you pendulum on your right elbow, I want you to pick up your right leg. This makes it look like you're going to fall, but in reality, it gives you more balance and throws off your opponent. Let's try it. Pendulum one, neck. Pendulum two, pendulum three, shoot. Do you see how that works? It completely throws off your opponent. He expects you to be shooting that way, when in reality you step behind you and shoot out the completely opposite direction. Let's do it one last time to make sure you got it. Now, we're going to do something called an illusion wrap. We just shot the rope out that direction. We're going to do another body wrap. One, release, grab, pinch. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Spin forward, change directions. Don't release. I want you to take your right hand and put it right here by my left hand and let go of the rope and catch it again. Pinch for a second time, so it looks like you're really tied up. Then you're going to spin with this hand, the excess slack. You're going to throw the dart underneath your right elbow and catch it right by your left hand. Let's try it. When you get to this position with your right hand, Grab the dart, step, duck down, shoot it out. I'm going to do it at a different angle so you can get a better look at it. Body wrap one, step, pinch, illusion throw, catch, pinch, spin, underneath your armpit, catch. When you're ready, step, duck down, shoot it out. Once you're ready to actually do it, this is what it looks like. Body wrap, catch, pinch, turn, release, catch, pinch. Okay, are you ready? Simultaneously, when you release the rope to wrap here, I want you to do a front slap kick. The trick to doing this is you start with your right foot in front, and you take a step. You have to be very fast and be very careful. So, on three. One, two, three. You kick and you catch it at the same time. Stop, look, release. Let's do that one time in full motion.
Now that we've seen some of the more difficult moves, let's string it together a little bit. So let's start from the second variation of the body wrap. Now, we're going to do the fourth variation on the pendulum sling, which is a left elbow shot. If you remember, when we did the third variation, it was behind our backs and we shot it out with our right elbow. This time, it's the same principle, except we're going to shoot it forward with our left elbow. So, out, pendulum one with your right elbow. Out, pendulum one, pendulum two. You see how it looks like I'm handcuffed and I can't do anything. Let's do it again. Pendulum one, pendulum two. Wrap it with your elbow and shoot. It's like you're in handcuffs, but you're just faking out your opponent. Essentially, you're just shooting out with your left elbow. Now, we're going to do the last basic of our form. You're going to throw the dart out on your fourth pendulum swing. Immediately, I want you to take your left hand and put it behind your neck and make sure the rope follows behind your neck. Let's do it once. Shoot out around your neck. Let's do it one more time. Shoot out around your neck, forward swing. Change directions with your elbow, reverse swing. Let go with your right hand, then stick it straight out. Catch. You see how I'm wrapped twice? Do a change of direction with your right elbow. Do a change of direction again with your right elbow. Put your right hand behind your back and release. You see how that works? Now, I would like you to end your bow stance. After you get here, I want you to step back with your left leg. Your body should be straight. Look at the dart. Take your left arm and jerk the dart straight into the air and catch it. Put the excess slack into your right side. I want you to step with your right leg to the left and do one full circle and swing the excess rope with you. Allow it to wrap around your body. Pinch the loop. Tighten. Bow to the judges, and now you're done with your rope dart form. Let's put together the fourth section.
Now that we finished eight weeks of training for the rope dart, we're going to try to piece together the whole form and add a little bit of flavor. I want you guys to remember, try not to look in the direction that you're shooting until the very last second, and then snap your neck into it. It'll create a snap effect and will add a lot of flair to your form. Now, let's do the full form together.
Now we have just completed a nine week course on learning the rope dart. Mind you, this will not mean that you're a rope dart master. You need to continue to train. In fact, this is a very basic level, traditional rope dart form. I teach much more advanced forms, but that's not what you're getting in this video. What you should do is practice very hard on these basic techniques and continue training on your talu, which is known as your form. Later on, pick up new techniques on your own, and then you'll truly master this beautiful weapon. Remember, don't give up if you're having problems. Just keep trying. If you truly want to test yourself, one day I urge all of you who learn to use the rope dart to go compete. It is through competition that you really learn who you are and you are testing yourself against the others in the industry. Furthermore, it's a great way to make friends and expand the martial arts community. Thank you and Jai Up. finest demo and instructional videos from Tiger Claw and Kung Fu Magazine. Available now on MartialArtsMart.com.